Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to the mermaid's room. And here we are with this 55 gallon PetSmart from probably three or four years ago, this aquarium. And it last couple years was set up as a paludarium. So I've got a lot of the same rocks that I used in this aquarium. The same little branches that I had in the paludarium. And so I get up this morning and I'm like, what is that red thing just floating in the water? And then I realized, got this. <laughs> It's part of this lotus type plant, or I guess that's what it's called, and it is reaching for the light. So this Hagar, LED Hagar lighting fixture, here we go, um, I have it on for eight hours at maximum, and then it has moonlight at night set up and, and it's really nice I, I paid well under a hundred dollars for it I ordered it off Amazon and now that I see this plant really reaching <laughs> do I need to upgrade my light I mean I was trying to keep low um, requirement type plants in here so I didn't have to go spend the 200 and what is it 239 240 something for the fluval 3 which I had before um, and uh, I had I had a fluval on a it was a 90p if you check back some of my videos previously yeah so that's uh, quite a sight to see this long stem just shoot up after it, it, you know, it, it took me a while just to figure out that the leaves that come out on this plant, they look like stems, just long skinny things. And then this thing, um, yeah, it's, it's a happy plant, I guess. I wish some of my others would start looking happier. I went ahead and over the weekend, I swapped out the lily pipes, the glass lily pipes that I had in here. This is the uh, um, supply that I, the way I set it up with, the, this came with the Awazi filter. So here we have this Awazi down here. I can I show you a quick shot of some of the products that I've been using in here. Um, this is something that I, that came with an order I had placed with plants and this was on their website so I thought I'd give it a shot. It does require that you do more frequent water changes by adding that product in the water but you can help hauling water like I've been having to do is is not fun to do a water change but a lot of the tannins I did do a 10 gallon water change while I took out the um, the lily pipes and reconnected the original bits that come with the Awazi. Here's this, these are adjustable. You can take your screwdriver and put in a little slot here and adjust the flow. I have a I have the um, the return here. Or yeah, I guess this is the this is the out, <laughs> and um, I have it on full. I did turn down this side to about medium and I did that specifically when you when you clean out the filter which I did for the first time since it had been on the tank I cleaned out the filter and oh boy I found a long fin danio down in the filter this is another reason why I had taken the lily pipes because that um, lily pipe had an overflow for a surface skimming and it was just very difficult to make adjustments to have that work correctly 
and I, you know, plants were going down my float, my little floating plants that I was trying to get going here. Here they are. Um, is that is that a top down view? I think it is. And I, I sort of just put those away, and I used the long brush that comes with those lily pipes to clean the pipes and the rubber lines that I have going back to the Uwazi filter. And how disgusting. It has really only been a few weeks, but now I, I've done several water changes, you know, setting up a new aquarium. I had, they were small water changes, but I was doing regular water changes as I was adding uh, supplements for these plants. Even though I've got uh, the API plant tabs under my substrate, along with the substrate that is under what you see here, I have um, a plant aquarium, a plant growing substrate in bags under what you see here. So check back on some of my previous, the first videos that I, first video that I made for this tank. So anyhow, um, no additions, just some kind of what I would call upgrades and that's what's happening in the mermaid room today. Everybody's happy. The fish are all healthy and growing and my one angel fish seems to really be getting bigger. All alone, but you know, I feel like it needs a friend, but you know, he's doing fine. I, I think he's kind of a loner. He just does his own thing. I just fed them, so now that I'm standing in front of the tank, they all think, well, she's going to feed us again. These fish, the long fin danios, they've got beautiful spots. I can't, we'll see if I can get, no. They're, they are so active. I just really enjoy watching them move around, so it's, it's kind of fun. I don't know how much more I'd want to put in here, but I'm still thinking about those angelfish, and even though I've had signs with many of them not surviving, maybe as this tank um, ages, it will be a more conducive to an angel. More angels, I'd like to have three or four in here, so we'll see what happens. In the meantime, you all, thanks for coming by. Have a wonderful day. Um, we'll see you on the next one.